In this chapter Oda Sensei has given us so much more. We will get to know more about the Wano country, how was the present Wano was built. The Void Century and about the ancient weapon Pluton, where it is exactly located. More of Shanks. A lot more of Green Bull how much powerful he is. No let's deep dive into the chapter 1055. So we are not going to see any continuation of any cover story. But one thing you are going to see is promotional material of upcoming movie film Red. On this cover page Luffy, Alta, and Shanks are featuring. Everyone is hyped up for this movie because in this movie everyone wants to see red hair Shanks. So here is Shanks who is in Wayno to promote his movie. Hello ladies and gentlemen I am here to promote my upcoming movie film Red which is releasing on August 6. It's humble request to go and watch the movie otherwise I will use my conqueror hockey. So chapter begins with flower capital where Nami, Tama and Zeus are enjoying the party and food. Outside the city still the fight is on between the scabbards and Aramaki. Here Green Bull has a upper hand. And this has been always the case when new Admiral is introduced. This is the way Oda Sensei introduce Admiral in his classical way. Remember all the Admiral introduction exactly the same way. First give us a full load of his unique personality, and shows us just how ridiculously powerful he is as a fighter, and then before he can show us the extent of his true powers, the fight is cut short by someone intervening. And this time it's Shanks who is intervening by unleashing his conqueror hockey. So friends like Shanks you unleash your finger and hit that red subscribe button to stop the fight. No let's cut short to the chapter. So Momo is beaten by Aramaki. Here Yamato is trying to help Momo. But Momo insists that she must stay out of this fight. In the next panel Raizo uses his technique Ninpo Makamaki no Jutsu to shoot a fire attack at Aramaki. Aramaki shown his acting skill that he learned from his acting classes. As if he's affected by Raizo attack, but he is joking. Hey big face do you really think that attack will affect me? After that Aramaki uses his ultimate move Fireproof Forest and breaks free from the flames. Then he says you really thought you'd be able to defeat a Marine Admiral, by relying on such an obvious weakness. So here a little twist from Oda Sensei. That fire you know naturally was going to be his weakness since he's a forest man, but it's also completely understandable that he has an out to this. Because you know, he is an admiral after all, and painfully aware of a weakness that he would have, so he would have a contingency for it. Every scabbard's trying their best, but they all got caught up. Where the little encounter is going to end soon. From here scene shifted towards the, the secret room of Kazuki Sukiyaki. We see it a secret passageway that leads to a long staircase, has been opened in the ground Sukiyaki and Robin are walking down the stairs with Law. Robin asks Law if he has managed to follow her by her scent Law, says he's not a hyena. Law said I couldn't find you with your friends so I searched for you. Sukiyaki says he never told Kaido and Arachi about this passageway, but since one of the important members of the Beast Pirate Jack is a Jaijin, which is a fish man it didn't take long for them to find the Poneglyph. Robin asks why a fish man would be able to find it, Sukiyaki tells her that it's better they see for themselves. Here Robin interrupts Sukiyaki and asks why the light coming from a hole. Law teleports with Robin, they both look through the glass, and saw the ruins of an ancient city under the sea. Sukiyaki tells them that the ruins are the other land of Wano that existed about 800 years ago. Here Sukiyaki explains how the current Wano was formed. Basically Wano was a large country about three times larger than the present one. It was located at the bottom of Mount Fuji at the same level than the sea. Then at one point in its history the great walls that surround the island were built. And the country was locked up rainwater began to accumulate. And flooded the entire country after that rainwater reached the highest part of the walls. And the water began to fall from them creating the great waterfalls. People decided to abandon the original Wano. And built a new country around the mountainside of Mount Fuji, which is the current Wano. So that's the explanation for the creation of Wano at least for the most part. Why there are walls around it like that, and also the water inside of it is apparently rainwater. As well as like the waterfalls and how that works. No all three has reached the bottom where Sukiyaki opens a door that gives them access to a large room where the road poneglyph is. 
Now Straw Hat Pirate have three road Poneglyph 1 more is remaining. Here Sukiyaki gives information about the ancient weapon Pluton located. The cave in Mount Fuji's base and deep below is the ancient weapon Pluton located. But Sukiyaki never seen the weapon. Here in order to bring Pluton out. The walls of Wanakuni must be taken down. In other words opening the border is to destroy the great defensive walls of this Hueno country. So guys considering that it happened like 800 years ago. You know when the whole big original war started which led to the void century. And everything I assume Joy bore. And his Nakama were able to hide Pluton away from Emusama. And the world government. And that's why they chose Hueno to be the place where they were going to keep it. Outside of the flower capital Ryukuju has traked the red scabbards. And Yumato and tells them that they can't do anything against this mother nature. Ryukuju says that if Kaido had continued in the country he wouldn't have come. Kaido Rain is what kept enemies like other pirates and world government away from Ueno. If they bring Straw Hat Luffy to Ryukuju. Ryukuju will leave the country. Yumato tells Momo they should ask Luffy and the rest for help, since they won't lose against a guy like this. Momo says that he doesn't need Luffy or Yumato help, so he asks Yumato not to offer her help anymore. Here Momo has point. They can't rely too much on Straw Hats and other. It's their responsibility to protect his country. Here I have point no it's up to Yumato whether he want to leave Wayno to its condition or stay in Wayno to protect it. This confirms that Momo is not going with them. Momo says you don't interfere. I don't want you to feel like you have to continuously be the guardian of Wayno. Even though that's what your devil fruit was designed for or chosen for you. We're supposed to be the guardian of Wayno that is not your duty anymore. Go out and fulfill your dream Yamato. Here Ryukuju mocks Momo's childish attitude. And says that he never thought a dragon would be so embarrassing. Momo somehow manages to use Blast Breath. Which makes me question not only Momo's potential and but how he's evolving. Seriously Vegapink that devil fruit was a failure. It's doing near everything Kaido can do Flame Cloud's Blast Breath and he even can fly. He made an exact replica of Kaido's devil fruit but different color this make Vegapink seriously a genius. So as we move on Momo scale itself a Blast Breath. And it catches Green Bull off guard. He didn't expect him to do anything because Momo was just trying to hot breath the entire time it was failing this time it works somehow. Mamanasuke shoots another blast breath at Ryokuju and burns his body however a small plant grows behind Ryoki's burned body and Ryokuju grows up from it again. Ryokuju about to take things seriously. Here comes Shanks and Shanks from where he was. Still on his ship. Sent a conqueror hockey signal to green balls seemingly shaking him right he was shocked. Shanks hockey is so powerful he located green bull picked him out of all the people. And warning to him paralyzing and scaring an admiral. So this could be like another advanced application of conqueror hockey. Here Shanks is looking angry. Shanks said hey dude are you seriously frightened of new year. You are attacking them when they are recovering from their previous fight. Here Aramaki returns to his normal form and says that he has no intention of fighting Shanks and his crew at least now. Here Aramaki is not scared at all, because he just expresses pretty clearly that he sees himself strong enough to be able to fight with Shanks. But right now he is alone surrounded by too many enemies might not be the smartest move. Now scene cuts to flower capital where Brooke, Yusup, Chopper and Frankie are still in the party with Hiyori and Toko. Outside of the city we see Luffy is sitting on the ground with Zoro, Sanji and Jin. Luffy says he's gone, and Sanji says looks like they didn't need our help, Zoro says Momo I'm impressed. Jin says, but that hockey was impressive. At the end of the chapter Luffy smiles. Luffy said somehow a familiar face popped up in his mind. Here the straw hats were definitely aware of what was going on. So friends chapter ends here. There is no break next week.